My background is I'm a trained panel beater, but I specialized in coach building, so hand forming, etc., all the, the pretty sort of sheet metal work. And what we do is commission work, we do training of clients, staff, etc., interested enthusiasts. So we'll teach them from a very novice right up to someone who's competent. Through Hare and Forbes, we were introduced to Aidan Hunt from Bespoke Coach Works, and we had a lot in common, passion enthusiasts, etc. And we also had a common interest in training, so teaching people that were enthusiastic, as well as novices. So again, someone who wants to create a project or work with us as well. The context of training uh, revolves around bringing them on a journey, so complete novices, etc. But that also interlinks with other things like, for instance, manufacturing. So you need to understand the principles of how to make as well as repair. Hair and Forbes approached us in regards to helping them celebrate their 90th anniversary with a special project. So the special project was to create a pedal car of the original 1926 truck that basically helped start the business. The process of building the pedal car, originally it was just meant to be a one-off showpiece, etc., as a display of skills and something that was an ornamental display when people walked in the door. And then during the process of building it, we realised that it was a great skills acquisition training platform. So size, cost, etc. The availability of parts is, is quite readily available and you're creating a lot of pieces. So therefore, from a motivational point of view, it's a fantastic starting point. And the skills that they learn is then transferable to other areas, automotive, etc. During the initial process of making it, we realised that there was potential for additional training, etc., in regards to filming. So breaking down the individual components, you know, plans, drawings, as well as filming, so that people could then understand the process and gain the knowledge and skills. Hare and Forbes then started to back us in terms of let's create this piece that people can do, impart knowledge, as well as teaching them how to use equipment machinery. And then some of it is also just using hand tools as well. The process of building it requires fabrication, welding, metal shaping, etc. Even though the project is a scale, you can still apply those knowledge and skills that you've gained during this build to then use on a full-size car or motorbike. The skills that you'll learn during this process are then transferable to a complete car. For example, the radiator shroud, compound curve, the bonnet, where you're doing louvers, etc. Again, curved panels, welding structural pieces together, outer guards, inner guards. For example, Aiden is currently making front guards for the Auburn boat tail. So there's a front guard that's replicating a similar activity, not as complex, but nonetheless still the same skills. With novices with no background, formal training, etc., you can pick up the skills simply watching us. Even those with some background knowledge and skills will still pick up little tips and tricks of the trade. Apart from metalworking skills, we also do woodworking as well. For example, steering wheel, all the timber components of the body, so you actually get to make a steering wheel as well. Some of the options of the build could be like a derby cart, push cart, etc., as well as chain driven, pedal driven. You could have electric, you could have motorised, as in a little two-stroke engine, etc. So there's a number of different power trains that you could use. The plans are not rigid, so you can follow the plans as a standard format, or you can customise it, so you can do your own chop top, you can modify it, etc. to suit your own individual tastes. We go into intricate details during the build. Each and every single part that you have to manufacture is A, documented, as in there's a set of plans, as well as we've got the film footage that you can reverse and play, etc., at your own leisure so that you can copy exactly what I'm doing to then create that part or component. The Heron Forbes Flatbed Felix project is quite revolutionary. I've never been involved in anything like this before. The skills required is quite revolutionary in terms of the content, it's accessible. Everyone can do it at home, whether you're remote or whether you're in the city, it doesn't matter. Even if you've never welded before, we do an introduction to MIG welding. During the process of the episodes you're gonna watch, uh, Giorgio will be showing you, demonstrating how to weld, how to set the machine, 
different applications, etc., and how to go about achieving a good result. During the filming, we're trying to impart knowledge of how to use equipment and machinery safely, correctly, uh, set up procedure, etc. But not only that, how to use hand tools if you don't have that machinery and equipment, mill or lathe, etc., how we can do it by hand. So that way, everyone, it, it really connects with everyone, whether you have the machinery equipment or you don't.